Welcome back to the channel. My name is Tom and today I'm taking a look at the Paramus Park Mall in Paramus, New Jersey. This mall opened in 1974 and while it seemed pretty quiet the day I was filming, from what I've read it's actually doing fairly well financially. There are very few vacancies and according to Wikipedia it has a higher than average sales per square foot ratio. No. Apparently that has a lot to do with its location right next to the Garden State Parkway and other major highways as well as the fact that it's located in a fairly affluent area. The first thing that I noticed about this mall was that even though it had a major renovation between about 1999 and 2001, it still feels to me very much like a 70s or 80s mall. And I mean that as a positive. I think that it has a lot to do with the trees lining the hallways and these very 1970s skylights. The only thing that would make this place feel more like a 70s or 80s mall would be more water fountains. While they do still have one remaining water fountain in front of the Macy's, when the mall first opened in 1974, there was an enormous terraced waterfall and fountain in this center courtyard. As far as I can tell, it was located straight ahead and to the right. Here's a picture of it. I believe that the foot of the waterfall was right about where this yellow oval garden is today. And from what I've read, the original waterfall and fountain were very popular as a wishing well. And at one point, the mall was actually collecting about $400 per month from the coins that were tossed into it. Sadly, the original waterfall and fountain were removed during the major renovation of the mall in the late 90s to early 2000s. So now let's take a look around. And there's mall security, so time to cover up the camera. We really don't want to get kicked out of the mall this early in the visit. If you like this video, please don't forget to give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. It really helps. Thanks. Here's Macy's. This was originally Abraham and Strauss when the mall opened in 1974. They went out of business in 1995 when they got bought out by the same company as Macy's. And so I believe this Macy's went in sometime around the mid-90s. It's an interesting fountain. Now I guess this would count as a water fountain. You can see here there's water pouring down this wall and they have this little trough going around it with water which is nice to see. That's fairly uncommon. I don't think I've seen that at any other malls very recently. It reminds me of West Farms Mall way back in the day. They used to have fountains and ponds like that all over the mall. Those have been gone for probably 30 years at this point, though.
I know I've probably said it before, but these kiddie rides today are so much better than they were back in the 70s and 80s. I'm always surprised when I never see any kids riding them. Pretty much ever. And there's security again. Straight ahead at the end of the hall here, this was Sears from 1974 up until about 2017 when Stu Leonard's moved in. And where this seating area is now used to be a carousel, which was here until about 2013. Here's a picture of what it used to look like. Uh, I wasn't really able to find a good reason why they removed it, because apparently it was fairly popular. But uh, according to one video online, it's now at the Fun Zone in New York. So it didn't get scrapped or anything. It is still in existence. It just got moved out of here. I thought these circular lights were kind of interesting. I don't think I've seen ones like that before. At least not at a mall.
now we're heading up to the food court. And from what I've read, this is actually the mall's main claim to fame. It was actually one of the first successful food courts in the entire United States. And many of the food courts that came after it were inspired by this food court, which is pretty amazing, I think. So here's a statue of a wild turkey, which I thought was kind of out of place. I couldn't really figure out why they had a statue of a wild turkey here. But apparently the word Paramus comes from a Native American word that means land of the wild turkey. I did not know that. Another interesting thing I read was that in 1997, the boy band Hanson filmed a concert for their video Tulsa, Tokyo in the middle of nowhere in this courtyard. Apparently they were originally only expecting a couple hundred people to show up, but ultimately over 6,000 did. Somehow they jammed them all in this courtyard here, which to me sounds like it's a fire hazard, but they did it. So here's a pretty good view of the center courtyard. From what I understand, the main waterfall was pretty much where I am now and a little bit to the left. I think it ended right about where this garden is today. And then there was a second escalator further to the left, 
which in 2001 got moved across the way, which you can see it there on the right. And this little garden was originally a pond, and I believe that was added around 2001, even though it looks much older to me based on its coloration. I mean, that looks like 1970s yellow to me, but as far as I can tell, it got added around 2000, 2001. And that's pretty much everything on the inside of the mall, but don't go anywhere yet. As usual, I'm going to do a drive around the mall and we can see what it looks like from the outside. Coming up on the left here is Macy's, and like I had said, originally this was Abraham and Strauss up until about the mid-90s. And here's what it looked like at some point in the 1970s. And coming up on the left here is Stu Leonard's, which moved in in 2017, and before that it was Sears. And this is what it looked like when it was Sears. According to a few articles I read on the internet, for about the last 10 years or so they've been discussing adding a movie theater to this mall, and most recently they were talking about putting a movie theater on the second floor of the old Sears, but to date that still hasn't happened.
And there you have it. That's the Paramus Park Mall in Paramus, New Jersey. I hope you liked the video. If you did, please give me a thumbs up, subscribe to my channel, leave a comment, and hit that notification bell. I do plan to have a lot more mall videos coming up, as well as store walkthroughs and flea markets, of course. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.